Hi everyone. In this video, I will show you how to do the code review in CodeBeamer. This great feature is available since the version 7.4 and allows you to work collaboratively on source code level. You can easily propose changes, add questions or suggestions for any improvements or even submit potential bugs in your source code. So let's jump directly into our code beamer. So as you can see, currently we are in the project browser and when I open up our demo project, you can see the tab SCM repositories. In this demo project, we already set up a Git, Mercurial and Subversions repository. For more information on how to create a new SEM repository, make sure you check out our how-to videos titled Setting Up Mercurial, Git and Subversion Repositories on the Inland website. So in CodeBeamer, you do the code review in two different places. On the one hand, the code review happens in a so-called pull request. The code review is only available for the version control system Git and Mercurial out of the box. And therefore, you have to create a fork for Git and Mercurial. And as you can see here, we have created a Git repository fork for demonstration purposes. And you can easily create a new fork here. And basically, a fork uh, is just a copy of a repository. So forking a repository allows you to freely uh, experiment with changes without affecting the original project. So most commonly, forks are just used to either propose changes to someone else's project or to use someone else's project as a starting point for your own idea. So whenever a developer or a team completes a task, um, they can simply submit a pull request to the repository, which is indicating that the code is ready for the integration. And so the review can just simply open up the pull request. And as we can see here, we have already set up a um, test commit fork for our Git repository. And um, there you can find the cumulated diff of the changes here. And as you can see, when I click on the tab files change, I can see all the modification or rather changes that has been made so far. And after the pull request is fired, your team members and also the integrator have now the opportunity to look at the new code changes and also review them. And as the reviewer reads the code, he may have questions and also suggestions, or he can even spot any type of potential bugs in the source code. So the reviewer can simply click on any uh, source code lines in the diffs and start adding his comments. So for example, I will just um, comment on the new line. I will click on this symbol to add a new review comment. And for example, add a new comment. Um, here is a bug. And save this up. And after the review comment is saved, the review is ready and also other collaborators will see my comment as well. In addition to that, the code review comments are just like any regular comments. So these comments will just become uh, also comments on the pull request itself. And this means that all interested parties will be notified when a co code review comments is submitted. So you can also view and even edit these comments on the comments tab where we are right now. So let me just refresh the page. And as you can see, my comment is listed here as well. So besides the code review, sometimes uh, require even a stronger rule for accepting a source code change into our main repository. And uh, for such cases, the administrator of the repository can easily enforce a rule um, that at least two or more pers person must say yes to change um, to a change before it can be merged in the system. So for such cases, you can simply configure a specific number of votes required for a pull request. So let me show you how you can set this up in CodeBeamer. Therefore, you go to your Git repository or uh, also Mercurial repository where you can go to properties 
And in this field, you can set the votes required in order to merge your pull request. On the other hand, you can also do the code review on a particular issue, for example, for requirements, tasks, and bugs. This kind of source code tracing or source code review on the particular issue works with every version control system like Subversion, Mercurial, Git, and also CVS. And you can find the code reviewer on a particular issue in the tab changes. So let me just click on the tab. And as you can see here, CodeBeamer provides links to show the associations between the uh, source code commits and also the issue ID. As you can see here, we have different requirements, tasks, and bugs with the um, related IDs. So let me just directly jump into the task, for example. And as you can see, we also can show the diff here. And the source code lines highlighted in green are the lines that has been added. And the red highlighted source code has been deleted so far. So as you can see here, you can also directly show the diffs in this view. And for example, um, when a managed repository is used, CodeBeamer provides all the links, as I mentioned before. And um, also, the source code will automatically appear in our CodeBeamer on the particular issue itself. So let me just click on the task. And CodeBeamer link relinks um, or opens up the uh, particular task. And once a source code change is associated to an issue by the unique CodeBeamer ID, the change code will also appear um, as a unified diff on the SEM commits tab for every issue itself. And um, you can also submit uh, a comment uh, or a source code comment and show the diff within the particular issue itself. So let me just, for example, comment on this line and add a comment. This is a nice source code implementation and save this up. In our integrated comment section, my comment will be added. When I refresh the page, you can see my comment as well. So um, this was our video, um, how to do the code review in CodeBeamer. If you do have uh, further questions, please feel free to contact me or also check on our knowledge base. Thank you very much for watching.